If you've read any of the weight loss blogs or been on YouTube lately, you've probably come across the term ketosis. So today we're gonna answer the question, what is the keto diet and how does it work? If you've never heard of ketosis, well, this is basically a question about the benefits of a low carbohydrate diet. Let's start with a basic fact of physiology. For many of the important parts of your body, glucose is the number one fuel. Your brain, red blood cells, testes, and many others will all shout to glucose when you're looking at the menu. Glucose is normally created from carbohydrates, however, when there's no carbs, there's no glucose available. So your body had to evolve a way to replace glucose to avoid going into hypoglycemia, where your blood sugar is dangerously low, leading to dizziness, loss of motor skills, and eventually unconsciousness and death, which is not super fun. There are two main ways for your body to deal with a lack of glucose. One is gluconeogenesis, where glucose is created from non-carbohydrate sources like lactates, proteins, or lipids. And the other one, and the one we're looking at today, is ketosis. This is where your liver converts fats into fatty acids and ketones. Now in the old days, before gyms, jogging groups, and calorie counting apps, ketosis would most likely only occur in times of starvation or as a part of certain illnesses. Okay, now that doesn't sound too good, but old diets were not a matter of choice, they were a matter of availability. Today we get to choose what we eat. So should you choose a keto diet? And what does the research actually say? The diet is generally defined as a strict 50 gram limit on carbohydrates per day. More than this and it's unlikely ketosis will begin. Most keto diets are also mainly fat, sometimes up to 80% of your calories. Beyond weight loss, there are some very exciting papers on keto and how it relates to certain illnesses. Firstly, it has been proven for almost a century that diets similar to the keto diet can dramatically reduce seizures from epilepsy. And it doesn't end there. There have been studies from Florida exploring the benefits for Navy SEAL divers and protection from oxygen toxicity seizures that they are sometimes susceptible to. Many other studies are looking into the effects on cancer growth. The keto diet clearly slows the metabolism, and this has been shown to slow the growth of even very aggressive tumors in rats. And there's a handful of other research into various areas such as acne, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. So is the keto diet health nerd approved? Yes sir. It's certainly not for everyone, but the keto diet is okay for a normal and healthy individual. How long does it take to get into ketosis? Well, it will take about two to three days to use up your reserves of glucose that you have, and after that you will enter keto. Finally, what happens if you break your carb limit? If you go over your carb limit, you will stop the process, but remember, as we said before, this hasn't been shown to affect your weight loss, so if that is your main goal, it doesn't really matter if you're in or out of ketosis. Thanks for watching, and we're always interested in anecdotal evidence from our audience, so please let us know if you've ever kicked the carbs and gone keto, and how it worked for you. Hit the subscribe button for more scientific insight to your health and well-being from the health nerd. Or just because you know that we clap like excited schoolgirls every time our subscriber count rises. It's actually pretty tiring, but we do it anyway. You know, for the exercise. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can always check out our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers.